other day, someone said the words, just an apple. Just an apple? How can that be? That's like saying, just the Grand Canyon. Unlike the Grand Canyon, the apple is both very delicious and completely versatile. Crunchy, juicy, and pretty. What's not to love? When we think about apples, what comes to mind first? Of course, a warm, delicious, flavorful, round apple pie. Grandma Scott's apple pie recipe turned out an incredible pie that actually became quite famous. Maybe you've heard of it. It was called Mom's Apple Pie. As she would serve it, often she would quote the old adage, Apple pie without the cheese is like a kiss without the squeeze. Actually, Vermont passed the law in 1999 designating apple pie as the state pie. The law also requires a good faith effort to serve either a glass of cold milk, a one half ounce or larger slice of cheddar cheese, or a large scoop of vanilla ice cream with each slice of apple pie. Did you know if you Google apple pie, you would instantly get well over six million hits? If you Google it again, you get even more. If you Google it again, well, you get it. This is because there's nothing as American as apple pie. Then there is apple pie's little sister, the apple tart, or the little brother, the apple turnover. Or by exerting only a little effort, you can just bake the apple. Mmm, yum. Also, cinnamon apples are served with meals in many fine restaurants today. It closely resembles apple pie filling. In fact, if you order a side of cinnamon apples at Boston Market, it counts as a vegetable. So you eat it with your meal and then, technically, you could still have apple pie for dessert. If you want it to look more healthy, just add a few simple ingredients and have a serving of apple crisp. The apple is so delicious and unique that it is the only product with which you can make both bread and butter. What more could you want? The delicious apple bread and the incomparable apple butter. And then there is apple butter's less desirable relative, apple chutney. He's not usually invited to family celebrations. And if you are looking for great treats that have the appearance of being healthy, there are always apple muffins, apple strudels, apple cakes, apple dumplings. One of our favorite breakfasts is the always healthy apple fritter. Usually we only have one or two of these for breakfast. And our favorite evening snack is still applesauce. And here's a treat. Instead of coleslaw, include apple slaw in your diet. That's right. We had this the other evening with dinner. It was so good. I can't think of a reason not to have all those little, sweet, crunchy, julienne-cut apples in your slaw. Apple slaw. I never did figure out what a coal is, anyway. On our several trips to Solvang, we have fallen in love with Ebelskyvers. The name Ebelskyver in Danish literally means apple slices. They are wonderful round Danish snacks. They are usually served with raspberry jam and powdered sugar. That would be a great thing to have for breakfast along with a couple of those apple fritters. And of course, you couldn't ever celebrate Halloween without apples. Of all the nearly inedible treats, candy apples have always been our favorite. Has anyone ever actually finished a candy apple? 
but they are delicious, regardless of what sweet, sticky stuff they have been enclosed in. Did you know that apples are 25% air? That's what gives them the ability to float. And who as a child hasn't pushed their face into a tub of questionable water as they try to bob for apples? Of course, it isn't as popular now as it was back in our day. Another relative of the apple must be the pineapple, but the DNA test results aren't back on that yet. Strangely enough, apple seed oil is an oil found in apple seeds. It is actually used in manufacturing cosmetics. The seeds contain a high amount of protein. So if you are ever competing on a season of alone, and you find yourself in a large, productive orchard of apple trees, eat the seeds. As a point of clarity, unfiltered, unsweetened apple juice is called cider. But that is not to be confused with a drink called hard cider. And it's certainly not to be confused with apple cider vinegar. There has also been another big confusion regarding apples. In the late 1970s, Steve Jobs and some of his buddies caused a change in the meaning of the word apple. But that is another very long, very complicated story. There are also many treats enjoyed throughout the year that rely on the apple for their existence and they are all quite delightful. There are even treats that have nothing to do with the apple, but are made to look like an apple. What could be wrong with that? That's one of the best parts of eating apples. There is such a variety. Yes, a great variety of color is a real sales point. Well, that just about covers all the healthy aspects of apples. We'd like to thank Kellogg for expanding the nutrition of apples into one of our favorite snacks. And of course, Pillsbury was quick to follow with her own brand of nutrition. So, anytime you're looking for a healthy snack, you know right where to go. Did you know that eating apples can also aid in brightening your teeth? Now, if someone says, just an apple, I think not. Oh, by the way, did we mention that we were very pleased to receive a box of beautiful smitten apples this month? Tasty, juicy, and so delicious. Needless to say, any way you slice it, they didn't last long. And thank you very much for yet another Merry Christmas. <laughs>